continue drawing by clicking this drop down arrow click new and since I'm using millimeters I'm gonna use Akadiso 3d template for metric units and click open now I'm gonna open my reference drawing which is this one here so click that I'm just gonna click tile vertically to arrange my windows and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow select parallel and I'm gonna zoom and work from top view so inside custom view click that and select top view I'm gonna draw a rectangle so inside the draw panel click this rectangle and click anywhere on the screen and the value for the x is 32 comma and enter 16 for y enter so this one here and and this one now draw a line from midpoint to midpoint and create a circle so c for circle snap that midpoint type d for diameter option and enter 6.37 which is this one here another circle so c for circle snap that midpoint type d for diameter option enter and enter 4.8 which is this one now i'm gonna copy these circles and the distance between the circles so copy from center to your right for eight units and eight units to your left I'm going to create a circle tangent to these uh, two circles. So inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select a circle with tangent, tangent, radius option. Click that side. You can see that the sign, the circle with a line on top. Click that. Click this one and enter the radius. And the radius is shown here is 2.4. Just enter 2.4. Uh, before we proceed, Go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap selection cycling and and i think that's good anyway circle again snap the center type d for diameter option and enter 2.6 which is this one here now i'm gonna mirror this circles so mirror mi for mirror command select the two circles use this one as the first point of mirror line and click that in point select no mirror again specify first point of mirror line you can start from here or here click that midpoint select no mirror again these uh, circles snap that select no mirror select um, these circles and the uh, in point all right so i'm gonna bring my drawing to southeast isometric and move or extrude this one first so extrude downward and the thickness for this one looking from front view or side view is 9.6 so it's through this um, box or rectangle create a box move it downward for 9.6 and i'm gonna create a shell so go to solid select shell command inside the solid editing panel select the box and click the face that you want to open so this one here right click and enter 1.2 which is the thickness enter again so this is the thickness here 1.2 now i'm gonna move my objects downward which is the this one here this circle here which is this one these circles and the bigger ones so move this downward change this first to wireframe so select these circles 
this one and move it downward so move and as you know the thickness is 1.2 because I want it on the face at the bottom so 1.2 so if I change this to conceptual, if I turn this around, see those uh, circles are moved downward because I'm going to extrude these bigger circles downward and I'm going to use the smaller ones to poke a hole through these um, protruding circles here. You'll know what happened. Just give me a sec here. Change this to wireframe and I'm going to extrude this... Um, eight circles this one here extrude it for 1.8 so extrude command inside the solid editing panel extrude for 1.8 which is this one here so from that face is 1.8 now I'm gonna extrude these circles the one inside for 1.7 upward because I'm gonna use it to deduct or to subtract or to create a hole inside this uh, cylinder so select that select this one and extrude it for 1.7 I'm going to use X-Ray. There you go. And I'm going to union the objects. So go to home or solid and inside the or home. Inside the solid editing panel, select union command. Select these cylinders. And this block. So this is one object and I'm going to subtract. So you subtract command is inside the solid editing panel. Select this object, right click and select the objects you want to remove. It's easier if I change this to wireframe. All right, subtract command, select the object that you want to keep, right click and select the objects you want to subtract, which are the smaller ones inside the bigger cylinder and enter so if I change this to conceptual I'm just gonna turn off the grid and turn this around and see what happened here now I'm gonna extrude these uh, bigger ones up to the bottom so I'm just going to change this to our frame. It's easier to snap those circles. So this one. So if you click another object accidentally, just press shift key and deselect that object. And extrude downward and just snap that in point. Now I'm going to bring this to front view. Yeah, it looks good and change this to conceptual now I'm gonna poke a hole through these three cylinders so I'm gonna use subtract command click the object you wanna keep right click and select the one that you don't want subtract command select this one right click and select that object there you go now I'm gonna draw this portion here this one and that one so what I'm gonna do is bring the drawing to top view and draw a line so I'm gonna change this to wireframe so I'm just gonna delete that line from quadrant to perpendicular point 
to click that point I want to see if it's straight there you go yeah we're good so I'm gonna bring this to top view and offset this one the thickness for this one is uh, 0.8 so I'm gonna offset it for 0.4 on both sides so O for offset command enter 0.4 click this line click that side click this line and click that side I want to extend this one see the gap here so what I'm gonna do is uh, draw a line somewhere here it won't matter as long as it's not over here because I'm gonna combine this object and this object anyway so extend command EX for extend command enter twice and just click that click this one press the shift key to cut this um, to cut this one here enter I'm just gonna copy this one in point to in point over here and remove that and join the segment so J for join command now this is one oh it didn't work let me check oh no wonder okay sometimes we have to be careful so move that in point to in point so J for join command click that click that line now this is one object now I'm gonna extrude this one for the extrusion from this face here to this end is 6.3 and I'm gonna check if it's attached to the face of the bottom yeah so extrude this one for downward for 6.3 bring this drawing to top view and I'm just gonna mirror that one mirror and specify first point of mirror line and move sideways as long as it's straight you can click anywhere and select no I'm gonna change this to conceptual and check again and I think we're good I'm gonna check here yeah so I'm just gonna union the objects so inside the solid editing panel select union command just window the whole thing so I'm gonna copy about three of this object or four all right and create layers so click layer properties and click one two three four change the color so check check the box and go to index color red and then this one I'm gonna change this to yellow this one I'm gonna change this to green and this one I'm gonna select blue and just close now I'm gonna change that to red this one to yellow green and blue now I'm gonna change this to realistic now I'm gonna move this one from the in point and between so shift right click mid between two points so between these two end points here this one and this one it's not snapping so shift right click again select in point and I'm gonna check if there's interference so go to solid select uh, inside the solid editing panel select interfere click this object and this object enter and enter again so if you check inside the command line it says objects do not interfere so we're good and I'm gonna bring this to top view rotate this um, other one so rotate that way and I'm gonna move this one move maybe I should use some um, wireframe it's easier to snap so move this one from in point to midpoint here somewhere here and let me see if there is some interference 
or maybe conceptual okay interfere this one this one and this one and enter again we're good so I'll show you what happens okay move if I move this one to this uh, point here or somewhere midpoint here see that um, it, it didn't snap to the right place so if you use interfere command click this object and this object and enter again you see that dark in color it means there's interference in this area here so I'm gonna move this one again and move in point to in point here shift right click and select in point and I'm gonna check interference between this object and this object and enter again so if you check here at the command line it says objects do not interfere so I think we're done I'm just gonna check uh, changes to realistic to create a real Lego well by the way the dimension is not could be not exact from the Lego company I don't wanna copy their exact dimension so anyway I think we are done and thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and thanks for watching